What's up everyone and welcome to the PLL bubble. Yeah, this green patch of turf you're seeing, this is part of the bubble and we're gonna spend this video showing you around all of it. Yeah, the places you haven't seen before. You ready to take a tour? Let's do it. This is Miles Jones. Miles, we're touring the bubble. Can you show us the Redwoods locker room? First and foremost, gotta know who you're messing with. Big Bears. Let's see who looks. Got the Juicy J playing, going crazy. Here the boys. Not many of us, but here you go. All my cleats down here. Cleat collection. Got my gloves, all my stuff here. We got two lids. We got the green. And we got the white one. Both with the big bear on it, baby. We're close to the field, which is always good. We're close to lunch, which is always good. The woods have the best locker room in the bubble. We do. Miles was right. The redwoods and the whip snakes have the closest locker rooms to the field which is right here. So we're about to kick off our first game here today and it's actually so hot that the field operations crew wets the entire field before the game. Zach Cooper, I'm the tour director for the PLL. We are in the process right now of trying to get the field to go from about 170 degrees at the surface level down to about 100. We use huge sprinklers that are on the corners and on the sidelines of the field. We'll at least have essentially a half where the field is <laughs> Somewhat cool for the guys and you can see we're kind of running away. These things will shoot 240 feet So watering the field lowers it about 50 degrees coop. Yeah, almost instantly incredible And do you do that during the game? No, we'll do it again at halftime because we also have to make sure the guys aren't gonna slip It's gonna be warm, but we're in good hands. Thanks RJ. Thanks coop Woo! these things shoot out fast man. How long do these run? So I'll run it for probably two minutes max right now, but it'll cool it down probably 30, 40 degrees. 200 gallons a minute. You heard the man, 200 gallons a minute. We're gonna cool this field down as much as we can before game time. Let's see what the temperature says now. <laughs> 114, wow. Next up, we're gonna show you all our outdoor training fields, which are quite beautiful with a mountain backdrop. Not a bad view out here, man. The sprinklers are going on right now. Guys will be out here practicing soon. Couple of redwoods here in the hallway eating lunch. We're touring the bubble because mm. no one knows what it's like in here. So we're trying to give them an idea of what it is like. <laughs> we got some chicken, Brussels sprouts. Mm. Uh, we got some rice, some couscous, some cucumbers. You know how we do, you know what I'm saying? A little sparkling water just because. It's been awesome. Well-balanced meal, salad every meal, protein. I got it all. I got it all. I got the greens, eating good, playing good, well, hopefully playing better. That's how we do it in the bubble, baby. Next, we are going into the equipment room, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for since you've seen the new jerseys for 2020. So let's check this room out. I'm here with Kevin Warnock, equipment manager. Kevin's gonna show us around here. So here's our equipment room. We have all seven teams lined up. The new Young Bucks, new squad, fresh purple chrome helmets. Move down here to Redwoods. Redwoods practice pennies. Nice little look. And then we'll finish with the chaos chromers as well. So we have all seven teams in one room. We have a nice little access to all our uniforms. And then we have the staff, Sean and Owen in here. Here, always taking care of the teams. What's up, guys? And then we have challenge flags, in case anybody needs one. Off to the laundry room. What's up, coach? How are you? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. So you get to the laundry room through the gym. Here we have all the uniforms. We have some new ones here, obviously. We have the Water Dogs Home. They're light purple. And then we have the Archers New Oranges, which is just a sweet look. And this is where all the magic happens. You see all seven teams, home and away jerseys, ready to rock. Kevin, dare I ask how much time you spend in here? Pretty much spend about three quarters of the day in here, just making sure everything's dialed in. Yes. What's up, Bucky? <laughs> what up? Yo, so the players do their laundry in here too hey, sometimes. You know, we just we don't wait for anyone to do our stuff. We get it done. <laughs> ourselves and i'm sure kevin appreciates that <laughs> hell yeah kev does appreciate it so we are in one of the gyms here in the bubble what's up stop it's good what are you up to uh just waiting to get some treatment on the old body of mine what's up jake i'm actually currently getting my ankles shaved by nicole we have the best trainer in the pll nicole nicole how are you doing great thanks for checking in rj i'm working with the hardest working team in the league so it's it's been fun it's a pleasure to be a part of see you tonight yep yo what's up jack uh sponsor you know hooking it up not a big deal we got some uh <laughs> white cheddar popcorn we got sour cream and potato chips walking around here with a box of snacks you want one I'm yeah, them out. I'll there take you go. thanks jack we're actually about to tour your locker room let's go all right welcome to our crib this is andy tower shirtless Please take notice of a true oh, yeah. specimen. Gatorade stuff, we got our waters, our, our coffees, our yeah. protein shakes, and the boys. Welcome. All right, so best part of our locker room is easily the bin right here. It's where we put all of our laundry. Anything that we need gets washed right here. This is perfect, it's amazing. Another part here is a specimen as well, Jake Ficaro. We always count on him for a good laugh. Say something funny. I don't got anything yeah. right now. I don't got anything right now, okay? I'm not good on <sighs> The hallway to the bathroom is actually basically a mini stick net that we've been using. Boys are staying hydrated. The bathroom's in the locker room? That's pretty convenient. In the locker room, I think somebody's actually using it. I think that's, that might be Blaze. Go! What up, Tyson? What's up, dude? <laughs> Shower's in there. 
cold tubs as well in case we need it. We got everything here. It's amazing. Hey, we gotta go. We got a big game today. Talk later, all right? How is life in the bubble for you? It's about staying alive. That's all I gotta do is keep myself alive until I get out of the bubble. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. So we're here in the training room now. What's up, Brennan Fowler? What's up, RJ? How we doing? I got the Norman Tex on, getting a little flush of the legs, trying to elevate them a little bit. Played three games the last four days, so trying to recoup before we play the Whip Snakes on Sunday. And speaking of chaos guys doing their own laundry, what's up, gentlemen? How we doing? Just blessed, man. Blessed to be somewhere where I know it's safe and be surrounded by great people and play the game I love, so. Now we're gonna head into the main training area and find the medical director, Mike Junta. Welcome, guys. So this is our main training room. In this room, the guys can come in and either do their, their rehab exercises, they can lift, just get themselves right for the next game. We have all the toys you can possibly imagine. Pilates reformers, cardio equipment. We even have this all the way down to an anti-gravity treadmill for guys who wanna deload themselves a little bit. This has been one of the favorite spots. We have our hot, cold tub. Guys can do a little bit of a contrast bath or get those legs right with a little bit of a cold tub action. So the facilities here are phenomenal. Is that the hot tub or cold tub? Cold, How is it? Freezing, bro. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I figured I'd take one for the team and try it out and let you guys know how it is. All right, Mike, let's do this thing. The cherry on top. Oh, yeah. oh. There you go. Think about something else. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to beach somewhere. <laughs> First two minutes, RJ, the worst. Then so you start to go nine minutes. minutes. So basically what it does is it helps kind of constrict blood vessels. Mm -hmm. Then when you get out of it, blood vessels oh, will get a little bit bigger. Well, good things. blood flow to come back into cool. the do it legs. It's cool. <laughs> this tour is pretty immersive. Heading into the back here, kind of our manual therapy area. So Mike, with all of these athletes, how many do we have total? Like 160? 160 athletes. And you know, they're all cruising here throughout the day. So to say the least, we're pretty busy. How do we maintain proper medical protocol with so many guys working out and getting treatment? I mean, we really followed the direction of our COVID committee. We maintain that only the social groups that we established are in here at the same time. Even within those social groups, we make sure that they're wearing masks, still spread at least six feet apart. Everybody's got their space. Everybody's enjoying it. Yeah, you got pretty much the main tour, but um, you know, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we just got customers coming in here all the time. I think Tim's paying rent at this point. You actually look better, yeah? Yeah, I feel significantly better. Mike's the best at it. He's got me going. Couldn't really walk straight, now I'll be on for this game. Later, RJ. So you probably saw these two fields behind me on my way into the main training area, but this is the indoor training facility. Teams can get out of the Utah sun and practice in here with their full squad with plenty of room to roam. Atlas is practicing over here. Archer's practicing over there. And man, there is a lot of space to practice here. This place is sweet. Two fields side by side. I almost kind of feel bad for the kids who have to go here because they can never get practice canceled. So. <laughs> 100 degrees outside right now, so keeping everybody healthy, right? It's really cool, not hot. Dude, rookie's nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm already sweating in here, RJ. Oh, it's a beautiful facility. They got the fans cranking, keeping us cool. Two beautiful turf fields. Let's get moving here, let's get moving. And it's not just lacrosse that goes down in the indoor facility. We also have a ton of different media setups to gather content from players. What's up, Liam? What's up, RJ? How we doing, man? Good, man. What do we got behind you? We got the whole setup here for uh, the photo shoots. We got headshots, hero shots, for graphics, all the headshots you see on NBC. This is where it happens, man. What do we got over here? Lights? Got our color gels in the back. We got the whole setup here, man. And it makes it easy having all this space in the indoor facility. Yeah, we got guys coming out for practice. We can get shots. We can pull them right in here. Easy enough. Thanks, Liam. It's awesome. See you, buddy. We also have some incredible referees with us here in the bubble. We're going to meet them now. Yo! RJ, what's happening, brother? How you doing, man? Doing good, man, doing good. About ready to put my sunscreen on. A little toasty out there today. We just saw the sprinklers out there. Right? It's a warm one. Right? This is my favorite part of the bubble, this room in that field. We'll take it. We got the air conditioner, cooler. We're all right, man. Now, do you guys sleep in here, too? Where do they put you in the bubble? Right in there with the coaches and the players, which can be a little furry now and then, but uh, we keep our heads <laughs> That's slow and our mouths shut. What are your guys' names? RJ, Sean Murphy in New Hampshire. How you doing? Hey, Sean. Hey, Dave Pizziaro, Massachusetts. We got a hot one today, huh, boys? Oh, nothing it's but. be a scorcher. Ready to go. A what? A scorcher. We are so badass that we got two locker rooms. So you want to go visit the other boys that are right across oh the hall. Oh, my gosh. They really hooked you guys you up. can't fit six hey. guys with this type of physique in one <laughs> locker room. See you guys. All right, I'm here with our co-head equipment manager, Chip. Chip, what's up? Hey, how's up, RJ? You stay busy with uh, fixing shafts, right? We could have one, we could have five. Boom, we got action. Just 
welcome. Man, already busy. That's about as sexy as it gets. All right, I'm here with head league physician, Dr. Logan. What's your duty like on the sideline here? You just have to deal with anything that comes your way. So it can be doing stitches, it can be putting the shoulder back in if it popped out. We have x-ray in the facility, so we can always rule out fractures in there. These guys are largely pretty tough. Have you had anything crazy happen yet? I would say they are pretty tough. The most common thing we're seeing is that we have to take their toenails off sometimes. Mm. That happens, that hurts. That sounds like it hurts. What's your office look like here on the field? Oh, you wanna see? Let's see. All right, come to my office. Come on oh, in. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. In Dr. Logan's office. So this is where we'd come in if I have to reduce a shoulder, if someone's shoulder popped out. We do have our AED, God forbid we need it. This thing looks heavy All duty. Right. So I have a bigger kit obviously in that, but we have a lot of things to really clean up wounds. Little portable office. Hopefully we don't have any injuries this game, but you look like you're prepared, Doc. Yeah, if we need to, we're ready. Dr. Logan's in action right now, and it's not with one of the players. She's keeping everyone safe, man. She's the best, huh? Fantastic. She went, went to Syracuse, you know, with Doc. Oh, yeah, both of you. I thought I had orange blood, but apparently not. <laughs> Thank you. And Mike and Dr. Logan also take care of our coaches as well. You took a bit of a tumble, coach. Perfect dismount. We gotta take care of his neck. We gotta get it moving so that his head can be on a swivel for the next time somebody's coming at him. It's all fine, it's all fine. He's like, yeah, get that camera out of my face. And before we continue the tour, this whole bubble and this whole championship series wouldn't have been possible without our head legal counsel, Rob Sanzillo, and the team that he put in place. Started with us forming a COVID committee, consisted of eight people. We met for two months leading up to the championship series. Step two, we got 2,000 of these little guys and we started testing our players. Step three, it just took buy-in from the guys. Two weeks of quarantine before we got here and then quarantining when we got here in their hotel rooms. But we got them out here and we got them out here safely. So really, our chance of pulling this entire operation off was in the hands of the results of these tests from these players. It was a little saliva test, man. They did their job. It caused a lot of stress for me personally <laughs> taking my test Rob but I'm sure it caused a lot of stress for you and our execs here at the PLL a lot of time watching people spit into a tube and then checking in at the internet but we did okay man we got them all out here that's all that matters see you Rob see you RJ well it's halftime of this game here we're gonna show you all the fans that are here in attendance not real fans but the cardboard cutouts that occupy the stands here at the championship series we have fans all up and down these roads some famous ones like Jim Brown Method Man Dave Petromala, Drew Brees, Steve Knapp. My family's here in spirit too. Dad, I'm also impressed you got seats in front of Tom Brady. I'm really, really impressed. Dogs in the stands. Passionate fans in the stands. We've got kids in the stands. John Ragan here sitting with Ned Crotty. If you guys are at home or wondering what we're doing in our off time, we get to sit here, hang out, watch the games live, maybe even scout some opponents we'll have in the elimination round. I think our schedule worked out well. It's awesome being wrapped up, being able to watch the next two days, uh, like John said, just to watch, enjoy the cross, scout a little bit, get ready for Tuesday. I was either watching it here or watching it on the hotel room on NBC, but it's nice that being up close and personal. You got a great seat, man. Best seat in the house, right? Can't beat this. I'm here with Todd Harris, whose voice you've probably heard on your broadcast. Todd, we're showing the people what it's like here in the bubble. We've spent a good amount of time yes, together. We Can we talk a little bit about your role here in the bubble on game days? Man, my big job is to stay out of RJ's way, but seriously, my <laughs> whole job is to get interviews. So when a player scores, the great thing about the PLL, they give us full access. This doesn't happen in the NBA, MLB, or definitely the NFL, but I can walk up to guys and say, hey, RJ, you got a time? You just get a two-pointer. He walks over, we do the interview during the game. Did you ever think, I'm gonna hit the game winner and it's gonna be a two? I mean, after you know, last game's performance, you know, get to the game wing assist, you know, maybe I'll come alive at the night times. So. And the COVID protocol here hasn't impacted your role that much necessarily. We've got some good processes in place. You just gotta make sure you keep your mask on and speak a little louder, because sometimes they can't hear what you're saying with the mask on, so you just chat a little louder. The guys have been fantastic one of the best leagues going who's one of the most exciting interviews todd oh man i'll tell you what all the guys in the whip snakes matt rambo <laughs> all about hitting singles baby all about hitting singles <laughs> the whip snakes ball hit singles hit singles we hit singles hit singles hey my name is jordan from score break you might have seen us on the sideline over here and this is what we do we take the statistics the statistics break down the game film the game film is then indexed allowing the coaches to go back to those points at halftime like they're doing right now inside the arc just be a threat right? you're saying because if they skip to you exactly okay got it. it's also really good for the officials when there's a challenge flag from the coach we're able to pull that up for them they can look at it right there all right we're in the cafeteria now i'm here with ops manager courtney ellis courtney is responsible for the thousands of logistics to get us to this point here but courtney what's your role like on the ground here in the bubble making sure everything is running everything is ready for the players the stadium's ready and a big thing we have to do is make sure 150 players are fed every day that's a lot of guys 
It's a lot. And a lot of food. It's pretty good food, good portions. We got the whips now, right? Yep, whips right here. What's up, Chani? What's up, RJ? Here we got a big salad, some loaded up with some veggies, some balsamic, and then uh, some chicken, I think. Eating clean, feeling good, keeping the body rested. Can't be putting that garbage in your system, playing all these games. What's food like in the bubble, Matt? The chef here is the real MVP. Delicious. Uh, you hear that? It's been delicious. What's up, Josh? What's up? What are we getting here? Yeah, check this out. Longest lens interview of all time. That is a long lens, Josh. Thanks, Sony. She did some interviews right now <laughs> with some uh, with some water dogs. Gonna tell us why they're gonna win the championship, baby. Good luck, Ryan. Thanks, RJ. Next, we're gonna meet the rest of the media team. This is our media headquarters. What's up, Emma? Hi, RJ. What are you working on? I'm just getting stuff for our athletes, trying to get them situated. Oh, so great. I know, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm keeping everybody loose right now. What, is Nick, Nick you doing some editing? Yeah, man, I got a little editing here. Uh, doing a little uh, NBC Sports Gold promo ads. Oh, you want to see it? Yeah, sure. Give us a little taste. All right, ready? Yeah, that was great. Cool, moving on. What's up, dude? You make Matt look great. Well, under the helmet smirk. What are you vibing with? Pulling some selects from the last game. Heck yeah, who won? Uh, the drip snakes. Delios, what's going on? RJ, how's it going, man? You recently just crushed the Method Man video. I did. Shout out Method Man. He's Woo! an absolute legend. What's up, Jake? What's up, RJ? How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm good, man. What are you working on? I'm working on some mic'd up stuff. You want to see this really funny mic'd up? Yeah, well, we're going to move on, but um, thanks thanks for the shout out. Oh, hey, RJ. What's up? Not much. What are you working on? I'm just working on this video about Sankey and McMahon donating money to the Children's Specialized Hospital of New Jersey. Great guys. I Go Archers. Can't wait to see it. What's up, Katie? Oh, what's up, RJ? I'm actually uh, over here working on a, a triple header hype video for tomorrow. We Ooh. got three big games. Man in transition to Napoli, the trailer. There he is, DiNapoli, back to Courier. And that is it. That is the end of the bubble tour. We're back here in the apartments, which are incredibly nice. I gotta rest up. We have a triple header tomorrow. Single elimination playoffs. We're gonna say goodbye to three teams. And lastly, I'm incredibly thankful to everyone featured in this video and all the other folks behind the scenes who made this championship series possible. So much work went into this, and I'm incredibly grateful, as are the players and the rest of this team. We will see you soon. Uh,